protection. And I'm just going to talk like this. It's, it's a prayer asking God for protection. And, um, and I feel like siblings are the best protection we have in this world. Right? We stick up for each other. We're there for each other. And it's a really special bond that the three of you guys have with each other and that any of us who are lucky enough to have siblings have that, that's unlike any other. And I think to celebrate it that way is really beautiful. And uh, more where that came from. So, all right, Jor, keep on going. There are three main prayers that make up this part of the Amidah on Shabbat. The Avot V'imahot, which is a blessing for our ancestors. The Givirot is about praising God's power. Lastly, the Kiddushah, which is about God's holiness. Please rise on page 9. Adonai Tifatah Titach Ufi Agita Hilatecha Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu, Vimoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzhak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahonora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hako, Vezocher Chastei Avon Fiimahod, Ume Vigula, Livne Vnechem, Leman Shemo Vayahava, Mela Jose Ramashia Umagin, Baruch Hatadonai, Magin Abraham, Vezrat Sarah, Atagibor Leilam Adonai, Mehae Hakula Tarab Lehoshia, Mehake Haim Behesed, Mehae Hako Verachamim Rabim, So Mech no flame, Verofe Holim, Umati Rasirim, Umekaye Munatoli, Shane Afar, Miha Moha Bagiburot, Umi Domela, Melech may meet, Umekaye, Umat Miak Yeshua. Please be seated.
the pandemic. A little bit of a squeal in the background. <laughs> Watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your desti destiny. Please play, pray silently. guys. Uh, we are going to turn to the Torah service, which is a little bit less formal than usual because the Torah is already out. We don't have a lot of liturgy here, but we do get to hear Jory chant a boatload of Torah, and that is um, and that is fun. We have a number of folks who are going to be doing Aliyot, and I'm going to leave it to you guys to decide if you feel comfortable coming up here to do the Aliyah up here. Um, if you have already been close with Jory, that's okay. And, uh, but if not, you can also stay in your seat and just rise from there and, and do the Aliyah that way. And, uh, and either Bobby or I can go and just turn the camera around if you guys want to do that. 
So, uh, we'll get the Torah all set. Let me just say that we're reading from the Torah portion called the Chukotai, and Jory's going to teach us a lot more about it in a few moments. Uh, but I want to just say that, that this is the Torah portion, uh, not from this week, but of course back from, was it May, what, what was it, May, May 9th. Uh, and, uh, and it's fun to jump back in time to a different Torah portion. Things seemed a little, a little simpler back in May in the Torah uh, and the Chukotai. So, um, that being said, we're going to ask uh, Eliza and Jeff, Katie and Lee, if you want to um, either get up or come on over here or wherever.
Shabbat Shalom. It's hard, it's hard to, belay, to believe this day is finally here. The Torah portion that I read from this afternoon is called the Chukotai. It's part of a double portion at the end of the book of Leviticus that we were originally supposed to read on the afternoon of May 9th. It's not May 9th, but this is my Torah portion, so we are sticking to it. At the beginning of this Torah portion, there's a long list of blessings and curses. The blessings are there for the Israelites if they follow God's rules, treat people fairly, are good leaders, and help others. If they disobey God's commandments and treat other, each other badly, curses await them. There are so many blessings and curses in our world today. Of course, the coronavirus is a curse, but some aspects of it have been a blessing. One of the blessings we read about in the Torah is the importance of being a good leader in the community. Good leadership was important in the days of the Torah, and it's still important today. Leaders in the Torah were held to a higher standard than the rest of the people. Let's start off by explaining what a true leader is. Leadership is the action of leading a group of people or some sort of organization. There are many things that are involved to be a leader, but there are three things that stick out to me. Those traits are courage, passion, and respect. You have to have courage for others and for yourself to be a leader. Courage is basically believing in those who are afraid to do something. If you are the leader, you can't show the other person that you are scared, because then they will back out of whatever their fear is. You need to put on a brave face and be courageous towards them. Passion is also a very important quality in leadership. You have to be passionate in what it is you're doing. Passion will eventually lead to success. This is because you are constantly thinking about your goals and you are so passionate that you finally achieve them. Last year, me and, me and one of my good friends, Eden, volunteered at Lifetown. Lifetown is a place where special needs students go and work with volunteers to learn how to do everyday tasks in a self-controlled environment. I felt so passionate about what I was doing. I love seeing all the smiles on the students' faces and watching them be themselves. Respect. You have to be respectful to the people, but at the same time, they also have to show respect towards you. Here are seven ways you can gain respect as a leader. Be consistent, be on time, be responsive, be right most of the time, and be comfortable being wrong. Forgive others and yourself for mistakes. Show respect to others when they were wrong and right, and help those who are holding you back, but not too much. Being a leader isn't easy. I know that for a fact, but once you get used to it, it's not as hard as it seems. Some of the people I want to thank today have taught me how to be a leader, a better leader. For my Bar Mitzvah project, I decided to do a blanket tying event slash gift card drive and donate the blankets and gift card to the oncology unit at Nationwide Children's Hospital. When I was a couple months old, I was diagnosed with Langerhans cells histiocytosis, also known as LCH. It is a rare skin disease and thankfully it went away on its own. Since I was only a baby, I couldn't do anything to give back. Now I finally got the chance to help the kids who are now in the same unit I was in. I had help from 18 of my friends. I want to thank you all again for helping me with tying all the blankets for the children who needed them. Hopefully I can do more things like, it, like this in the future. First, I'd like to start off by thanking Rabbi Benji. It wouldn't have been nearly as much fun preparing for my bat mitzvah if it weren't for you. Mark, thank you for making me into a better musician and making my service feel like camp. Next, I want to thank my Gucci family. Thank you for being my second family and making each summer better than the last. I don't, I don't know what I'll do without my school friends. You all make school way more fun, and I'm so glad that I get to see you all every day. And to my theater family, I cherish having a place to express myself through theater with all of you. To my aunts, uncles, and cousins, I love every moment I get to spend with you all. Thank you for everything. Grand and Papa, I don't get to see you both very often, but I'm grateful for what I do. I love our visits to Chicago or when you come here, and I love our FaceTime calls. Nana and Poppy, I love all the time we get to spend together, whether it's visiting Cincinnati or, all, or our vacations all together. Thank you for all the memories we've made, and I can't wait to make more. Ainsley, thank you so much for, even, for be, always being there for me when I need help, even if I don't always want it. I hope you know how grateful I am to be able to look up to you. Now on to Harley. You are one little crazy girl, but this is what I love about you. You never fail to put a smile on my face, and I'm so very lucky to call you my little sister. Dad, you lighten the mood and never fail to make me laugh. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're always there to give me a big hug, even when I don't necessarily want one. You are quite the jokester. I'm so thankful for your guidance and support through all this. Thank you for everything. I love you, Dad. Mom, this day wouldn't be possible without all of your hard work planning. You are always there to listen to me when I need you most. I'm so grateful for the woman you've helped me become. I know I always have a shoulder to cry on. You've taught me so many important things that I'll never take for granted. Thank you. I love you, Mom. One important aspect of being a good leader is to be strong. Strong can mean all types of things. At the end of my Torah portion is the end of the book of Leviticus. We say, Hazak, Hazak, Benit Hazak. Be strong, be strong, and we will strengthen one another. Let's all try to be good leaders and strengthen one another. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.